okay so points we completed a little bit and we can just go for a, a point from a file okay shall we do that like creating points from the file and then we can uh, do so many things that is important yeah. for the real life yeah okay okay i'm just going to take my uh, file from my hard disk okay okay i am going to consider pnzd file okay this is a kind of text file or we can say it's a kind of csv file also okay and uh, i will select these two and then i will uh, put somewhere okay this is, with the help of this uh, files we can able to create our own uh, points and surfaces okay and uh, one more thing and you will share this uh, text file for our uh, side by side if you are working here ah okay yeah side. yeah i i can i can uh, put this file also so you can also practice okay but but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i will teach now so please listen that yeah, yeah. after at the end of the uh, concept we can just share okay sure okay. okay so what i will do means i will control a everything it will select all and then delete okay it will delete everything so what are all the things we have created i we deleted also now now what we are going to do in the sense like uh, or we can go with the new file also because we also changed the geodetic uh, okay no issue we will see how the input coming okay now i am just going for prospector you know uh, prospector tab in tool space and right click and go for create and here na you have something called point from file import points okay you need to uh, select this one import points okay immediately you will get this kind of a window okay import points window here you have plus icon this plus icon you need to click okay then you can select the file first we will go with the, um, this one existing ground points okay open see now it is coming with a tick mark and then we can just go for specify point file format okay we have any is it nothing is thing and is it value elevation and point uh, description elevation nothing and is thing like that this is similar to penzd this uh, preview also we can able to see see this is not the correct one the point number na point number correct is thing nothing elevation is coming but we we can't able to see the description if you select this then we can go for penzd which is also having description see the description here it vary ground and then pond like that it will come okay i think all ground points might be okay uh, and after that there is something called uh, add points to point groups this is important you can uh, select that and you can just click here this icon you need to click now you can put the date i will put today date okay whenever you are importing you can put the uh, those date for your reference or you can put another name also just naming the points we are going to make a point group by default okay see this uh, this point group it will come here not only all points apart from all points we will also have this point group okay do elevation adjustment if possible do coordinate transformation see this is do coordinate transformation if possible okay by default we will go without all these things and then click okay okay now we got points and everything but we can't able to see in our workspace as we discussed before uh, autocad is like unlimited workspace then we can close it and we can zoom extent is that is that enter and e enter see when you put a zoom enter uh, then it is coming okay this are all the points that we have in that file okay that uh, doc, uh, word file or we can say notepad file See, this is what the notepad file right so based on that it will come so we have many description we can able to um what to say filter accordingly or we can able to make uh, different point groups and we can uh, modify the styles and everything okay see but by default it is coming with the what point and then we have something here right now we can able to do some changes for this points okay and uh, you can go here point group uh, right click and go for property when you go for property here you can go for point style and then point label style see point style in the sense we can just to make uh, some changes to this red color cross uh, and then point label style in the sense for labels see here we have 1092 96.01 this was the label elevation and description nah. so what i am going to do means i am just going to have only the uh, point number for example only the point number when you click apply and then okay then you can able to see the changes only the point number coming right 
and if you want point number and elevation or elevation only then you can able to go for apply when you click apply only the elevations it will come okay and we can say like the same uh, level we will get the contours so based on the elevations we will get contours and everything right okay and if you want to create something new you can go for uh, here and you can go for create new so create new and uh, i will go for a uh, elevation and then uh, point number or uh, elevation and point number we will see this is the standard one right see name point number and then uh, point elevation and everything uh, see this is sta general standard uh, okay and then here you can go for layout point number so point elevation and then point description all the three coming right so what you can do in the sense like uh, so go for label text style label visibility and then layer everything we have so first we will see directly apply and then we will see how the output apply and then okay we will get that uh, elevation and point number when you applying that what we are getting we will see the same uh, we have so we can able to edit it so edit current selection okay this is for the text style okay so here we have this kind of things annotative text uh, this kind of things and uh, label visibility true or false in the sense it won't be visible which we can able to hide if you want true means it will come okay so layout then point number uh, okay i will go to a description and i will make it to false so the description we are hiding only i need a point number and then elevation that's it then if you want uh, uh, some go for point number and you can just uh, change uh, some color of that for example i will select the green color then we can able to see the output how it looks like okay and then i am putting apply and then okay and then apply we will see how the see the changes so like that we can able to play here we can create new we can edit here okay and then uh, point number na point elevation you can go for you can able to make a uh, big size text uh, height also if you want uh, some uh, four you can make and you want color so this uh, making this kind of changes also it's uh, very important mostly most of the people who working in the civil 3d they used to do this kind of things also yeah and i will go for yellow color and apply and then okay and when you click apply here then you can able to see the changes uh, this is like very big so the yeah. normal yeah yeah when you are importing uh, points yeah file what is the format uh, p e n z d i have chosen uh point number is thing uh, no, no. i mean uh, when you are importing file uh point one minute okay. this uh, we will make to 2.5 for itself and then i will tell you what you would mean like that is what p a n is at the format okay i will tell you okay now like this we can able to make changes okay see when you are importing this file now you are asking for yes uh you can go for point and then uh, here you can go for uh that option here it's not coming right so what you can do is you can go here right click and create okay then you can select this icon this icon is important so it will open the import point uh, dialog box okay see now we are getting the import point okay and uh, see here you can able to click this plus icon add files after selecting then you can able to uh, go for preview based on the preview not only it's mm. not it's not essential to select only this because in my file i know what are the things i have but maybe some other file they will they will be having only e and z even not even point number they will be having so you can able to create one uh, point number also in that uh, notepad file then you can at least to go for p e n z or you can also add description and mostly it's better to take p e n z d if not having point number description also you need to create that's why i opened and shown you na Uh, you see no notepad do you remember before this yes thank you yeah yeah great right. 